Before we go to break, navigating young adulthood can be hard enough, but one Billings woman started her 20s with a cancer diagnosis. U2's Asia Gore sat down with the young nurse who was sharing her story to motivate other women to get a checkup. <laughs> so your new 21 year old Crystal West loves her job helping patients as a certified nurse assistant. That's a huge part of me. That's what I do. I take care of people, make sure they're comfortable, or do what I can to help them when they're not feeling well. She began working at Billings Clinic in 2014 at the age of 18 when her mom got sick. I took it as my responsibility to take care of my mom, like make sure everything is going to be okay with her, first of all, and then to somehow financially help. Through her work at the hospital, West met her best friend, Megan Malin, a fellow nurse. Kind of see her like a little sister I never had. Given the 10-year age gap, Malin says she's inclined to give West advice. One piece of advice changed West's life forever. She was 21, and I would normally say 18 would be a good time to start pap smear, so I always I already felt like she was a little bit past when she should have gone. It's an uncomfortable thing. Like, who wants to go have that looked at. And I mean, I wasn't sexually active, like I had no risk factors that I thought. But after that first visit with a gynecologist, the news sent her life into a tailspin. I was trying to figure out any hole in this entire like story that it could be wrong. Like, I was shocked and I didn't want to believe it. And I was trying to figure out like, how on earth, what did I do to make this happen? West was diagnosed with cervical cancer in September. She began radiation treatment, but in February, more bad news. The cancer has spread to her lungs. As a 21-year-old, like, who has to go through that? My 20 young and dumb decisions are, oh, I shouldn't have dated that guy, or I shouldn't have drank that much. Her, it could be the difference between living and dying, like her 21-year-old decisions. Life as these friends knew it has changed in an unthinkable way. But somehow, just hours after receiving her latest round of chemo, West sits down for this interview with a smile on her face. I've been drawing a lot from like people around me right now, especially Megan and her family and my family. Like anywhere I can find perspectives or like advice or anything like calming at all, like, I'm trying to pull from that. Not every day is easy, but even with stage four cancer, West is drawn to her floor at the hospital. One of the top two CNAs we have on the floor, even with her not feeling the best, she's very kind and very caring. If I walk into a room and a patient saying, you know, I just feel really foggy today. And before I may have been like, you know, I don't really understand what that means, but I mean, I've experienced it now. Or just this feeling that I have this news and I can't change it. And I know that we have patients all the time that get this news or that are going through something that they can't control. You do it. <laughs> Without Malin's advice, West may not be here today. She can't change her diagnosis, but West is sharing her story to give other young women a fighting chance. In Billings, I'm Asia Gore, MTN News. Thank you, Asia. We're all with you, Crystal. Tomorrow's Community Monday at Hooligans will benefit West to help with her medical bills. She also has a GoFundMe, which you can find by clicking this story on our website at ktvq.com.